First things first, I like the fact that even Matsumoto has no fucking clue as to why the Singularity Project had failed. Because this means that any doubt most people probably had about him throughout the story has been erased single-handedly and now he's free to just do what he's meant to do from the start. To help Vivi and the professor. In any case, the situation's looking pretty shitty, I think. That's something that doesn't need to be stated. Though what I would like to state next is that I'm actually glad that Elizabeth's back and now she's Kakitani's granddaughter's caretaker. It's a throwback from the Sunrise incident, so I appreciate the return of a character we once met. With that said, there is one fatal flaw with this episode, and it's not the reveal that the archive's the real baddie here. It's that the episode is just two fucking minutes long. Like, when the ED started playing, I knew. I fucking knew. We, as an audience, got blueballed once again from seeing more of this soon-to-be great anime once everything is said and done. And quite honestly, while I'm used to watching anime on a weekly basis, which is quite pronounced if you've seen my channel, it doesn't mitigate the pain that we have to endure from waiting another week. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and see you guys next week.